Vivian Loder admits her teenage son is no angel. Mitchell was a gang member and has been on remand in custody facing serious assault charges. We spoke with Vivian recently while Mitchell was still behind bars. Now he's out and she says it's a hard road ahead. Just how they grow up. You know. He knows what he's done and he knows he doesn't want to do it again. He doesn't want to go back there. It's a big day for Vivian Loder. He wants to turn his life around, he's told me that. The pantry's stocked and the house is ready to go. Had his room painted um, this week. Today, Vivian is hoping her boy will be coming home. Police have told me that he'll probably be bailed out today to face court at another time. 18-year-old Mitchell has been remanded in prison on serious assault charges. I want him home. But, you know, am I going to be able to stop him? I don't know. Vivian, who suffers multiple sclerosis, has no idea of the roller coaster to come. The massive winds. Are you happy? Yeah. Mm, really Fresh air. Yeah, it looks mint. Thanks, man and the heart-wrenching defeats. He got money today, so he's gone. We're with her every step of the way as this ordinary mum faces extraordinary circumstances, desperately hoping her son resists the urge to return to his street youth gang. Just don't want to leave himself into trouble again. I think he's able to if he puts his mind to it. I think he can. I, I think he can do anything. The day Vivian's been waiting for isn't today. Mitchell's bail hearing was adjourned for two weeks. It's a long time when you're in prison, isn't it? Yeah. The teenager is with Victoria's most hardened criminals in the Metropolitan Remand Centre. He had been on bail for separate assault charges when he and a co-accused allegedly attacked another boy at a McDonald's in Mornington in July. It was a breach of bail conditions and that's what landed Mitchell in prison. That's frightening. Vivian's been forced to watch on for years as her only son transformed from a cheeky Harry Potter loving redhead boy to an accused criminal. Do you think that little boy who loved Harry Potter is still in there somewhere? Oh yeah. You think? Yeah, the books he is reading in jail and that's a big thing. She says Mitch went off the rails after joining a youth gang in Frankston known as the Reds. He needs to be punished, but we need to rehabilitate him too. Yeah. Vivian's back at Frankston Court, but again, the bail application is delayed. She did get to see Mitchell in the dock though. When he looked at you as he was leaving, what did he say? He said, I love you. Today, Vivian finally learns the outcome of his bail application. I'll get him home. Now, sir. The part where, yeah, we'll turn him around. To stay out of prison, Mitchell needs to follow strict bail conditions until his case returns to court. He must not make contact with his co-accused. He must attend appointments with his court-ordered youth justice worker. But most importantly, he must adhere to a 9pm curfew and be home with his mum in Cranbourne at that time. I don't know what he's going to come out wearing. You happy? Yeah. Mm. Oh, You're right with that? Oh, you want to smoke? Straight into my handbag. Rather than focusing on Vivian, Mitchell appears more concerned about the friends he's left behind in jail. I've uh, got lots of mates in there. Hopefully they get out soon, you know what I mean? What are you going to do when you get home? Sleep. Sleep. Yep. Can I just get a street white space to pay potato and gravy with it? It seems freedom tastes like KFC for this alleged teenage criminal. After more than 50 days in prison, Mitchell is back home. Smells good too, doesn't it? Yeah. Super safe? Yeah. I knew that I was going to land in prison one day. 
in my life. It looks mint. Wake me up to reality. Not everyone can get away with everything. My hope is that he pulls his head in, does the right thing, and just stays out of any trouble. Less than 24 hours after Mitchell returned home, Vivian is reliving her worst nightmare. Today's been just too much. She has no idea where her son is or who he's with. Yeah, but he won't listen to me. And that 9pm curfew is rapidly approaching. Yeah, he got his Centrelink money and he, he's gone to Frankston. I am at the end. For the Vivians of this world, it is very stressful of um, seeing her, her boy go down the wrong path. That's the whole key, is to stop the, um, them going back into the gangs. Jason Wood is a police officer turned federal MP. Once it gets to, to Mitchell stage, that's a game where you need people with that uh, youth experience. And as soon as they walk out of the door, um, offer them support, get them involved in activities. Today, we're touring the MP's electorate, Melbourne's youth gang riddled southeast. It's up to him with, with the support to change the direction of his life. I want all their babies. I know how cute are they. <laughs> Take their batteries out, they grow up. Viv, last time we caught up, things weren't looking good, were they, for, for Mitch? No. He came home before nine? Yes. I'm happy he's doing the right thing, which yeah. he is. Great. You know, and that's all I can ask for at this stage. And... It's two it's weeks right. after Mitchell's release, and for the first time in a long time, Vivian seems relaxed. What are you doing for the rest of the day, Vivian? I'm going 10 pin bowling. Great. Yeah. It's the new Vivian. <laughs> and even Mitchell's going to come with me. Is he, he's happy with that? He's so bored at home, he's got to be happy. He must be if he's going bowling. And do you feel like you've got your son back? Yes, he's growing up and I've got to let him grow up now. Mitchell has kept his nose clean and he's been sticking to that 9pm curfew. He says his stint in prison was enough to keep him on the right track. Fingers crossed.